Hi everybody, it's Camille. I want to show you this tool that I think is going to make your life a little bit easier when you are in graduate school or anytime you're needing to do some research. The name of the tool is Zotero. You can see it's at Zotero.org. This is a free tool. It works with Firefox and Chrome and potentially some other um, your browsers as well, but I'm not sure I use it primarily with Chrome. So that's what I can speak to. And I've already got Zotero downloaded, but you can um, download it yourself if you want. You can see that it's um, down here already open in my screen. So let me show you what this can do and why you might want to use it. So let's say I, we've gone to PubMed and you found an article that you think looks really useful. This actually Zotero works for things like videos and just regular articles on the web, etc. But for your purposes, I'm hoping that you'll use it primarily for peer-reviewed research. And here we found this article on thyroid eye disease that I have, think might be useful for some research I'm doing on the thyroid gland. And if you notice up here um, in this in the bar, you, there is a little icon of a paper and when you hover over it, it says save to Zotero. So when I click here, um, you'll see this coming up, saving to thyroid. I already had the thyroid folder open in Zotero. It says saving to there. So then when I click on Zotero, we can see that this this um, paper has been imported into my library. And you can see the whole thing is here. If you look over here, the um, item type, the title, all of the authors, all the publication information, the website, the PubMed ID, and so forth has all been automatically imported with just one click. I didn't have to do anything. Um, now here comes another cool part. So let's say that you're working in Moodle, I'm sorry, in Canvas, and you would like to um, cite this post. So let's say you say something about thyroid and eye disease, blah, 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 and you want to cite this article. So if we open up our Zotero library, we just click on it and we drag uh, and drop right into our um, post. Boom, it comes out already formatted in APA format. You actually, um, in your Zotero settings, you can change it to AMA, APA. Uh, they have, I think, hundreds of different possible options, but I've got mine set up to APA. So it automatically um, formats it just like so, um, again, without any extra work for you, which is really, really nice. So it's um, it makes this whole referencing process much, much easier. It will do the same, like I said, for almost anything that you find on the web. One other interesting and fun thing that I wanted to show you while we're here is that let's say um, I'm writing a paper and I want to cite all of these articles, right? So um, I'm going to select all of them, right click, and it will say um, create big bibliography from items. It's one of my options. So if I do that, here we can see um, select citation style. I have APA 6 and you've got some options. I want to do a bibliography and I want to copy to the clipboard. Okay, and so then let's say, um, for whatever reason, I'm writing my paper right into a Canvas post. So let's say I want to put them all. So I just uh, do the same thing. I just, um, oops, sorry. I just paste and boom, every single one of these is now in my Canvas post. You may have to do a little bit of formatting like so, but generally speaking, this is going to make your life a lot easier. It'll go right into a Word document or, um, you know, any other word processing type of situation um, and this it'll it's automatically um, alphabetized and uh, you've got all the information you need including the link to um, access the paper so I hope this makes your life a little bit easier the best thing to do is just download it play around with it and see if you like it uh, it's free so if you don't like it you can look for another type of citation software or just do it the um, the old-fashioned way by hand, if that works for you too. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.